Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and right here we have the Helion Shield edition of the new 2DS XL. Now you guys have been asking me if I'm going to get this and if I'm going to unbox it. Of course I am, I'm a crazy Nintendo fan. So let's unbox this, look at it, see what the design is like. We'll compare it to some of the other limited editions that I have of the 2DS XL. And we'll also look at some limited editions of the 3DS XL too, at least as it applies to Zelda. Part of the joy of owning and unboxing consoles is getting to take a look at the box, and this one definitely does not disappoint. So on the front you can see that we have the design of the console here, Hillian Shield Edition. I really like the artwork over here on the side, it's telling you that we've got the game pre-included, this is A Link Between Worlds. I find it a little strange that they've included this particular game with this system because it's a game that really benefits from 3D. Nonetheless, it's nice to have. Let's turn it over. You can see part of the gameplay on the box. So this is just a really, really nice, well put together box. Definitely going to be putting this on display. Let's crack it open. They want you to know that it plays all 3DS games in 2D. I actually really like the 3D. That's something that a lot of people don't usually say. Okay, pop that open. So on the inside here, we are immediately left with a wall charger, which is very nice to have. And then we have a little compartment for the console itself. So let's grab that out. Now I'm super excited to take a look at this. I saw some of the pictures and I thought that their color scheming was interesting. Just pulling the sleeve off and there we go. And ooh. I expected this to be kind of like a rubber finish on the inside, but it's just blue plastic. You can see that we've got the eagle here that's been painted on, and then these are actually raised. So the Triforce has got some really nice looking metallic gold paint, and then we've also got some silver accents here as well. Then we've also got some silver metallic paint along the sides here. And I actually have a little patch that I'm supposed to put on a backpack just to kind of show you what the Helion Shield actually looks like. So what they've done is essentially taken the Helion Shield and made it into rectangular form. But you can see that all the detail is there. Now the interesting thing is that when you turn this over, it's actually silver, this metallic silver on the bottom. I really would have thought that it would be blue. So I find this to be interesting, but again, this is probably silver because it's representing the shield. But just as we have blue in the center here, when you open this up, it's also blue on the inside. So I think that looks really nice. We've got some silver buttons here. One thing I really wish that they would start doing is filling the buttons because they're actually kind of hard to see in dimmer lighting. So you can see how we have the buttons here. It's very easy to identify what these are. So let's see what else we've got in terms of accents for colors. If we turn this over, we can see we've got the LR buttons that are in brown. The ZR buttons are also brown. Then looking at the side here, we can see the power button is brown as well, but the stylus is black. So this is an interesting mishmash of different colors. But understanding why they've done this, I actually really like it. So examining this a little bit closer, what we can see here is that the original plastic is this grayish color, and then we've got the paint right here. So you can see where the paint starts and where it ends. I do get a little bit nervous when the shells are painted rather than having the plastic be the actual color, such as with this red version. This is the Pokeball edition. What happened with my Pikachu edition is that I set it down on a plastic type surface and it's interesting that the plastic kind of ate through the paint or the finish or whatever it is that they have on here and these are not going to come off now. So I'm going to definitely put this in a case. It's not going to touch any surface that's rubber or synthetic. So let's grab all of these guys so you can see what all these limited editions look like if you haven't had a chance yet to see them. So we have the Pikachu one here, the Pokeball edition, and then the Helion Shield. What I really love about the two DS XLs is that Nintendo is making them have a lot of character to them. You can see that it's 3D. Pikachu's little nose here is 3D, so are his cheeks. His nose is actually a bit of rubber that protrudes and you can feel that same rubber right here on his mouth. So this one has been super adorable, even on the inside. It's got that really nice bright yellow. Then with the Pokeball edition, you have this pressable button, which I get so much of a kick out of. It doesn't do anything, it just presses, but it's just so satisfying. 
Then opening it up, you can see that it is red entirely on the inside with black buttons. And then finally, the Hillian Shield one, which is blue on the inside. I'm really not sure which color at this point is my favorite. Probably red, because red is my favorite color. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. Let me know which of these is your favorite. Oh, and definitely we have the original here. We've just got this plain black with the blue accent buttons and the blue outside. And then we've also got the 3DS XLs here. These are my Zelda limited edition ones. This is the Majora's Mask version. It's this kind of pewter goldish looking color. And you can see that we've got Majora's Mask and the various faces on here, the various other masks. And then we've got the Hyrule Edition here, and you can see the Hillian Crest. And they are a very similar color. But of all of the units that I have, the Majora's Mask one is my favorite. It's just really stunning and strange looking, and I like that. Then as far as the game that's been pre-installed, it has been pre-installed on the SD card, and you find it all the way when you scroll to the right. I did try popping it out and putting it in another system, one that's been fully restored, and it will not read the game. So it looks like it's tied to this system only. So overall, here we have the three limited edition systems, at least the ones that we have in the United States. And this one looks really quite nice, you guys. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with this at all. My one gripe is that it looks a little bit strange having this silver here and the blue here. It's a weird kind of a continuity especially because you really don't see it happening at the top. It makes it look a little bit toyish in a way. And this is silver painted, so if you're not careful, it will scratch off, but at least the plastic underneath it is a similar color. So this is all that I want to say for now. Let me know which system you guys like most between the 2DS XLs and even the 3DS XLs. The nice gaggle of systems here. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos, and have a good night, you guys.